Doctor Who, The Dominators, Episode 1 Outside the saucer, a delta wave of classic flying saucers flies through space. We watch one of them land on a planet. It's landing struts holding the body of a saucer clear of the rocky ground. Transport tube is lowered and the outer inner doors open. Humanoid steps in, out onto the planet. The high curved shoulders of his outfit make him look as if his neck is joined part way down to his chest. As he surveys the scenery, the second man joins him. And the first man speaks, they go. Is the local radiation completely absorbed? Tober. Yes, its energy has been transferred to our fuel reserves, but we need much more. Rego, of course, that is why we are here. Tobo, Tobe, we respect Navigator Rego. I would consider we should have continued to Epsilon 4. Rego, I decided otherwise, Pro- Probator. Tobo, Tobo, but this planet has never been fully surveyed. Rego, it is suitable for our purpose. The planetary crust is thin here. There is an intelligent form of life. Suitable for workforce, Tobar. But the natives may not be suitable for slave labour. Perhaps they're hostile. Rago, if necessary, we should destroy them. Tobar, yes, destroy them. Rago, but if it only is necessary, commence work on the primary survey. Tobar, command accepted. Shall I call? Shall I order the quirks to mark out the drilling sites? Rago, yes, Tobar. Quirks. Hovercraft. Elsewhere, a large egg shaped craft is travelling through the mist. Humanids. Humanids are in the, here wear thick corset style dresses over sleeveless wet singlets and seem far, seem far less belligerent than the newcomers. Wow, hen. Head. Top. top. I'm not so sure this is so called adventure. Was well, much so, so good the idea after all. I mean, this is a terribly primitive way to travel, isn't it? Effing in floor length, long sleeves. Well, we're supposed to be looking for excitement, aren't we? To later, woman. That's why I came. Raw hand head. I really don't see what's so exciting about sitting for hours on end. This old tub. If we use the travel capsule, we'd have been here in a few minutes. Corley. Pilot, knee length, light top. Not without a permit, you wouldn't. Woolhead. I suppose it does add a little zest. Collie. Well, there, here we are, everyone. An island of death, uninhabited for 170 years. Nothing can live in this poisonous soil. Woolhead. You are very being drained of the traffic again, Carly. As usual, you know perfectly well there's a permanent survey unit there. To motor uh, the radiation, ethylenin, and there's a weekly visit by parties of students to show the horror of automat- o- atomic radiation. Collie, all right, all right, I know. But this is organised and supervised by the state. You travel miles by sea in a ship, navigated by men. None of you auto piloting. And don't forget, we're here without permits. This is all. This is illegal. Everything. Yes, I've almost forgotten that, Carly. Eventually, Carly is something never to be forgotten. Well, I had, it doesn't look like any different to me from any, from the way I've seen it in vision books on my screen at home, Carly. Ah, but this time it's real. Well, I had, is it? Carly, you're, yes, of course it is. You're actually here. Well, I had, are we? Carly, you don't believe me? Well, I had. Well, you could be throwing up old pictures on your scanner, couldn't you? I've told there's nothing to show that is real, Collie. Well, you can't get that. Well, you, well, you can, can't get out and see. Well, Ed, why not? Torola. Yes, why not? Okay. Well, look, I'm, 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 I'm all for a bit of danger, but going out on a light island without protected suits would be madness. Well, Ed, so we just had to take your word for it, Collie. Oh, yes, you do. Tolola, Layla. Didn't you mention something about, didn't you mention something about a warning signal? Collie, yes. When we're in the radiation zone, why? 
Tallulah. Well, uh, isn't, aren't we a bit close? Ethelwyn. Do something, Cully. Warehead. We're going to crash. Tallulah. Quick, Cully. Enclosed crafts lounge on, on the beach to bask of a cliff. Everyone gets thrown to the floor. The head hurts his elbow. Cully was struck. Warehead? Huh? Tallulah. Oh, no. Warehead. Warehead. You mean permanently? Oh, yes, we run, we run around. The dive is well and truly wedged in solid. Right, well, how are we supposed to get back to the mainland? Curry, look, don't ask me. Nefferin, this really is an adventure, isn't it? Right, ahead. are you sure this isn't one of your practical jokes, Cully? Curry, now look. Running around on the dawn's automatic altar, atomic island isn't my idea of fun. Right, ahead. yes, but that's where we really are. Red waves a stick over the sub control panels. Well, head the bridge is your meters, which is in zero. Okay, yes, oh, wow. Well, they're probably broken down. Well, let's try again, shall we? Clear the computers now. Okay, zero? They cannot be. Well, it's so much for your navigation. Okay, island of death. A ramp drops down to the beach, and Ethelwyn walks out. Okay, all right. Go on out there. Get yourselves cut to the frazzle by radiation. Don't come complaining to me if you get yourselves killed, because I won't. I don't refund money to. Oh, but they all have left. Can I refund? What am I saying? They haven't even paid me yet. Hey, wait. Outside the hovercraft. Cully? Oh, Tallulah, don't be a little. Don't be a little fool. This island is a killer, Tallulah. So you, so you say, but your radiation counter doesn't seem to be making too much of fuss about it. Okay, yes, I know. Oh, well, you must have gone bust. Well, Ed, and all the others in this tub are yours as well. Tolila, why don't you admit it, Carly? You're rogue. You're, you're, this isn't a test island, is it? Okay, but I, I tell you, it is. Everyone washed over the hill, people. Well, so, well, that people? Well, that settles it rather, doesn't it? Carly, no one ever visits the island of death, do they? Carly, well... There's a survey unit, or they could be students. Were they protect, wearing protective suits? Everyone, no, they had a new type of robot. Well, they had a work party, most probably. Come on, Everyone, let's go and seek their assistance in getting us off this dreary island. The Cully has so carelessly marooned us on. Cully, no, wait, we're ahead of stop outside the source of Tobia. Quirks. You will set up the drilling unit in accordance with the instructions of Domin. He stops watching his adventurers running over the ridge. Cully, wait, stop. Toba, Quirks, destroy them. Cully, oh, get down quickly. They're going to, going to, get down. Cully ducks down behind the dune as the other three sunny frees from fall. And fall. Toba, Quirks, reload force units. There you go, trouble. Toba, I have dealt with it. Three aliens, beings of the planet. There you go, dead. Toba, of course. There you go. That was necessary. Beach. Cully walks past the TARDIS materialises. Then to- to- the TARDIS materialises. The Doctor, Jamie, and Zoe come out. Doctor. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ah. Jamie, are you feeling tired, Doctor? Doctor, yes. Just a little bit weary, Jamie. Very exhausting business of protecting all those mental images, you know. Zoe, you mean you need a good rest, Doctor? Doctor, yes, we all do. A nice holiday. Jamie, ah, oh, where did you say this place was again? So, well, the scanner screen the tardy shows an island, some sort, surrounded by steam mist. Jamie, I, oh, yes, an island of Jugras, a perfect state landed planet. Jimmy, I, I've heard that one before. So, there, were, there won't be any Cybermen or Daleks, will there? So, no, 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 of course not. It's nothing unpleasant, Jugras. So, well, well, is the whole island as dreary as this? Well, is the whole island as dreary as this? Doctor, oh, goodness me. That's, they have a very advanced race of Dukins. They're very gentle, too. They're friendly. You've got to like them. Doctor, hands on a big, large keep net. Jimmy, oh, I see you've been here before. Doctor, oh, yes, Jimmy. Blow on that for me, would you? Jimmy, ah? Uh? Doctor gives him an inflated ball. Doctor, yes, some time ago, mind you. It's splendid, but it's peaceful. I don't want to leave. I didn't just didn't want to leave. He put it, brings out a deck chair and sits down. Doctor, yes, that's 
What we all need? A nice, peaceful holiday. Clifftop. Tobo is looking down on the, hover- on the hovercraft. Way, little way long, Curly, Curly starts down the slope to his craft. Toba quite destroyed the alien vessel. Cully hears the whoop, whoop of the energy built up and retreats. His hovercraft goes kaboom. He plays dead just in case. Outside the museum, our travellers have seen the explosion and come running. Jamie, I thought you said it was a peaceful planet. Sally, well, which direction did it come from? It sounded as though it was almost on top of us. Jamie, hey now, would you like look at that? Jamie walks through the missing side of a building made of hexagon blocks. Zoe, did you say these people were peaceful, Doctor? Doctor, they were, yes, Zoe. They, but the Dukans, the, the Lukans, were gentle and friendly. Jenny, ah, it sounded like, like it. Did the explosion cause this? Doctor, no, no, this was caused by explosion some time ago, Jamie. Jamie Zoe, looks like atomic blast damage to me. Doctor, yes, I think you're right, Zoe. I don't understand it. Let's look up inside, shall we? Doctor, help Zoe, because... Over some fallen debris as they go to a metal door. Attack wall. Doctor, mind? Over here. Museum. Jamie pushes the door open and it creaks very nicely. Jamie, hey, what sort of place is this? So it looks like some sort of museum. Doctor, you, you're right again, Zoe. A war museum. Jamie, peaceful, you said? Doctor, oh yes, but they were very old fashioned. But these are old fashioned weapons, Jamie. The sort of things. This sort of thing was bad years ago. Jamie looks at ray gun. Takes a great ray gun off his display stand. Jamie, hey, how do you work this sort of thing? Don't know, Jamie. No, put that down, Jamie. What's the matter? Don't know, well, that, it's a sort of laser gun. You know what you, that would do? Burn a hole for it, anything. Metal, concrete, wood, anything. It may look old, but well, you never know. It might go off. Now please, just leave the things... And they were. Well, where was it? Sorry, I wonder where this, what's down there. Jamie, is that the trigger there? Doctor, well, it seems to be something. Jerry, look. Jamie, what's the matter? What? Jamie points at two motionless figures. Jamie, what happened to them? Doctor, stay here, Zoe. Come on, Jamie. Doctor goes down the steps to the figures and laughs. Jamie, well, what are you laughing at? They're just dummies. What did you... What did you put? Why? What did they put them here for? Sorry, Doctor, the dummies. Sorry, the dummies. Did you, did you check, Doctor? Huh? Sorry, did you check the radiation levels before we left the TARDIS, Doctor? That's just what I was thinking, Zoe. I did. I think I did. Yes, I'm sure I did. Jerry, hey, what are you two on about? Sorry. D- well, I was just thinking. This place reminds me of the old atom test islands of Earth. So, yes, I think you're right, Zoe. Jamie, test islands? Sorry for atomic weapons, though, Jamie. Does it, yes, but... But no, why on Ducus? They outlawed war. There must be some other explanation. Do I... Well, I vote we go back to the TARDIS and find some else. Do the, do the doctor, three figures in full of our protection suits are standing in the doorway. Survey unit in complex of the building on top of the hill. Three Ducalins... Duncan's are removing their protective suits. Balan and older man. Oh, I hope it was not too late. We're not too late. We was out here f- there for a length of time. How badly are they affected? Kendo. I don't. Oh, girl, don't know. Educate you, Balin. Balin. Oh, come on now, Kendo. I taught you how to read a radiation meter. But this is registered negative. Are you sure you switched it on? Kendo, yes. Ben Han, you know, how is yours, Till? Till, boy, exactly the same as uh, Zero. Ben, it's very strange. The thumping of screen, shouting of the screen. Till, could it be that the meters aren't working, sir? Ben, no, no, the warning lights would have gone on if the circuits had failed. Kendo, well, we can't leave them in these there indefinitely. Ben, man, man, no, that's not, that's not true. Till, as you're not, not that they're not already active, we may as well let them out. Till opens the door, and Dr. Jamie and Zoe, a lot of steam come out. Dr. Oh, beautiful coat. My beautiful coat is all wet. Zoe, thank goodness for that. Dr. Ridiculous. Dr. All this, all this is necess- totally necessary, you know. There's not a trace of contamination on us, by land. Yes, 
It's sort of notice. It's odd, isn't it? Tell her what's odd about it. Belen, well, this whole island is very directive. Been for a hundred and seventy years, two years. You must know that. Very well, it isn't now. It's Kendo, of course it is. Doctor, have you checked? Tell why not? Well, not yet. We only just arrived. We're taking the usual re- annual readings to the next few days. Doctor, well, oh, well, you, I'll take them now. Then I wasn't aware of anyone else had permission to work on the island. As that does sounds, tell me exactly what had been happening, Doctor. But I was hoping you were going to tell us about that. Sorry, this is the Atom Test Island, isn't it? Then, oh, but of course, everybody knows that, Doctor. Ah, oh. Jimmy. Oh, well, we don't. Doctor, but I'll turn many weapons on Dericus. I thought war had been abolished here. The land, yeah, what has, you seem to know surprisingly little about your own pla- about your own planet, Jimmy. Oh, yeah, well, that's it, you see. We come, we come just, we just come in there to, to the just as Jamie to be quiet. So the world that Jamie was about to say, we come from a different world, from a different time. The land, not from this world? Really, that's very interesting. I must note that this is my daily report. So I mean, well, you don't sound very surprised, but then, well, it does not it does explain how you come to expose yourself to dangers on this island. No Dirk again would do such a foolish thing. Tell me, oh, what are you doing here then? Kendo, what sort of educated Berlin's at this tradition? The part of the educated Berlin's at tradition from the university. Doctor, but when I was here some time ago, were you, you a piece of race? What? Balance? Oh, yes, you've been here before. Oh, so you've been here before? Dada, well, yes. But then, ah, uh, I must put that in my... I'm sorry, you were saying? Dada, well, what's happened to you? I thought aggressive weapons have been abolished. But then, oh, indeed, they have. And the second council, and the doctor, director Oberlin, he banned the manufacture of weapons, doctor. And what are you doing? Letting off the doctor devices. Some atomic devices all over the place. Then, ah, that was only one explosion. Perhaps a few kendo cookies could get us lying. Let's see how much you remember, my dear. Kendo, uh, ah? Man, the seventh kendo, cancel. Kendo, the seventh cancel, under Director Monos, initiated research with later development of atomic energy. The base, the land, destructive capabilities. Kendo, the destructive capabilities. This was immediately apparent, and Kalen, Belen of Island, Kendall and his island was used to test an explosive device, the results of which we've seen today. There were all further research into this type of rate of energy prohibited. The island was kept as both a museum and warning for future generators, generations. Saying, oh well, she certainly does know her, does her work. Do the AC? Then this is an old at- atomic test site. And, oh yes, you see, students are, they're really very good kendo. Students are brought here to test the radiation level and observe the effect of vegetation, of course, to see for themselves the horrors of atomic destruction. So, so there should be radioactivity here. Jay, but there isn't, there isn't, Doctor. No, I wonder why. And I said, so, so they go. Are you, uh, and you destroyed its travel, this travel ship? Toba. You gave me an order. You gave me order to no order to contrary. They go. You have a navigation or navigator. Your task is to investigate, second assess. You will allow your instinct to destruction to interfere with your primary task. Toba, don't accept it, Rogo. How can you assess what which does not exist? Have you completed your atomic analysis? Toba analysis complete. Atomic energy released on this island. Seventeen point. Two decades ago. There you go. A long time. Strange that this should be the only trace of radiation on this planet. Continue. So the drilling sites have now been located and marked. There you go. Well, then we will examine them. Outside the TARDIS. Cully has found the TARDIS. Examining it. They notice a star-like mark on the ground nearby. He hides a toba. A Vega poach. Toba. Toba. This is, a, this is the eastern drilling site. There you go. What is it that? Pobar. It has a cool box like structure. Should I summon the clerk to straight? They go, why? Would it interfere with the work? Pobar, no, but they go, then it would be really wasteful to destroy it. Outside the museum, a radiation suited figure 
and examines another star like mark on the ground. A hides as cutty coat comes through as a wall goes comes through a wall hole in the wall. Teal, Cully, what are you doing here? Cully, who is it? What are you who's that over there? Teal, my number name is Teal, you remember? I'm on the i sur- I'm on survey team, Carl. Curry. Survey? Right. Take me to your survey unit. Teal, right? Yes, but Cully, come on, don't argue, Tully. Teal, oh very well. It's over this way. T and Curl. Cully, leave as Rago and Toba. Enter Rago. He evidently evidently a test site. It would be explain the radiation. Museum. Toba, primitive architecture. Rago, every culture develops per greater. Toba, every race is assumption. Assumption of the past. Examine the prayer for present. Toba, yes, navigate Rago. You are right. It was a test site. Rago, come here, explain. Rago is a by the razor rifle. Toba, part of this collection of crude weapons. Toba, we'll continue. Toba, this is one that operates on the very on the early laser principle. Fire mechanism here. Toba demonstrates it by blasting a hole in the wall. Toba, self discharging power cell. Limited range. There you go. That's all you and that's all you notice, Toba. The other weapons are just as simple. There's nothing here that could threaten us. These things as old as as that, things as old that, they are precisely old. At last, you occasionally mention a fact of major significance. Has it not occurred to you for Rayta Toba? That these uh, herbal weapons must have been developed since then. These, Toba, were really navigating Rayta. Rayta, I prove you a time to you to participate. Act of the self gratification, destroying these three, three creatures. It will now be necessary to find other specimens. They have to be investigated. Did. Survey unit. Kendo is working, handing out round drinks. Doctor, but why do you think we might be responsible? Thank you. Ran Anne. Well, it's a conceivable you at craft. Uh, the Doctor Tardis. Tardis could have attracted the radioactivity in much the same way as a magnet attracts metal. Doctor, ah, it would have been, would have registered, Dowie. No, the motor space cross off and land in Ducaris. Okay, now, as far as I know, you're the first. Say, so, oh, I must say, then you don't seem a bit, these bit surprised, Kendo. We talk to accept facts. Being foolish to complete, contemplate fantasy is a fact, it's a reality. You're here, this is fact. You come from another planet, I accept, because I have no other means of proving it. Proving it. Terrell enters with Cully. Till not a sign of radiation, but look, look what I found. But then, Cully, what are what are you, Cully? Never mind that now. We've got to get back to the capital. But then, no, oh, it's impossible. We don't even we haven't even begun to survey our survey yet, Cully. Cully, if you don't, you'll be you'll be wiped out. Till we claim to have seen robots and spacecraft. But then, you don't tell me, you don't tell me you brought robots. Dot, I hadn't. Cully, look, I have, I brought three people here in my ship who were killed by these creatures. Balan laughs. So, well, what's so funny? Balan, well, I see. Yes, three people. You come, so you come with another, well, do you say, doc, do you, do you, doctor? Doctor, ah, oh, I don't, I don't think I, Balan, really, Cully, you and your friends might as well at least have agreed upon the same story. Cully, what? But these aren't, the, any, these aren't, my free, you old, you old. Oh, what's the use, Jamie? What are you talking about, Doctor? I don't know. What, Jamie? What's he talking about, Doctor? I don't know. Look, I've never seen this gentleman before in my life. But I am Cully. You had no idea to bring it, right to bring these people here bef- without permission. Even if you are the son and director of the council, Cully. Well, go on then. Why don't you call him up? At least he's not as stupid as you are. Doctor, you say you've seen a spaceship? Okay, well, I told you, haven't I? A robot, well, at least I think they were robot, well, robots. Doctor, what exactly did this spaceship look like? Okay, it's, well, it's large, circular, and sort of a silvery colour. Jane, oh, well, that means it wasn't, can't be the TARDIS, Doctor. Are you sure it wasn't square? Like a wooden box? Carly, no, that's, that's not a spacecraft. Now the boxes where those other 
where those aliens were made, had made a sort of mark. A five penny star, examining it just now, talking about destroying it, joining me. Dr. Jamie's A. What? Dr. Jamie, we better go and see. Jamie, Jamie, come on. Well, then, you're, you're wasting your time, Doctor. I prefer to wake up my mind, thank you. Jamie, are you coming, Zoe? Zoe, no, I think I'll stay here. Doctor, right, we mustn't, shouldn't, sh- we shan't be a minute. Jamie, come on then. Doctor, are you sure there's no radioactivity? Doctor, you're certain. Doctor, good. The Doctor and Jamie leave. Zoe, well, do you think that you're wasting their time, my land? Okay, because they all think that I'm a liar. But then, oh. Outside the source of Ego, commence work on preparing the sites for the outer of the boreholes. Tabar at once, navigator Rego. Rego, send this message to fleet leader Materius. Materius located, derailed, report follows. Detailed report follows. Tabar, command accepted. Survey unit. But then, no, I'm, no, I'm sorry, Cully. I'm taking no action until I've spoken to your father. Cully, not at all, not, but all this, it's just time, wasting time. Anyway, you know full well that what the old man's going to say. Do nothing. But then, yes, and that better than sitting in a hole in the in panic. Besides, Cully, I think you should have shown more respect, if not to me, at least to your father. Cully, my father, the great Senex, leader of the Dukens, He's as bad as the rest of you vegetables. A lot of you. You don't live. You exist. But then, have you gone, got it? Have you, you got it through yet, too? Till it seems to be some sort of interference. Cully. Oh, there you are. Roberts are causing that. And I tell you, so you don't seem to be hanging any much success. Well, do you? Cully, idiots, blind idiots they are. Still, at least your doctor friend shows some interest. So, yes, he was in a crying mind. Cully, in that case, you end up in as popular as I am. Outside the TARDIS, Jamie, at least. They, are, they didn't harm the TARDIS, Doctor. That's a relief, Jamie. Come and see. Have a look at this. It's interesting. Look. Jamie, what? Doctor, see? Jamie, oh, what's so interesting about that? Doctor, well, I think it might be some sort of survey mark. Jamie, very lightly. Doctor, look. Jamie, look. Two lines of close, dozy space. Oblongs in the sand. Doctor, some sort of tracks. Doctor, do we so they are, Doctor? Let's follow them, shall we? Further along the beach, they can see the source of the cliff. Jamie, hey, look at that. Doctor, now that is really interesting. Outside the saucer. Jamie, oh, look, I think we'd better go back. Get back. Zoe, you'd be wonder- wondering what's happening. Doctor, oh, this is interesting. Yes, obviously, an interstellar spaceship. Considerable advanced design. Dot, dot, no, no, you're not thinking what I think you're thinking, are you? Dot, dot, that's, I think, Dr. Depend, Jamie, depends on, upon what you are thinking, think I'm thinking. Jamie, ugh. Hey, Doctor, Doctor, stop it. Jamie, Doctor, Doctor, Jamie, don't do it. Dot, James, Jamie, Doctor, look. Doctor, on my word, looking down for the next hill, are two rectangular beings with round heads, with points ha- hanging out of them. Their voices sound like a sweet little girl's quirk. Do not move, do not move, Togo appears. Quirk, next task, shall we destroy, shall we destroy? Well, Quirk unfolds a weapon arm from its body.